Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you'll like the video and subscribe. Uh, been I had a busy week this week at work. Uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, good content. Got some um, a lot more mower uh, re related videos here that I've uh, filmed this week. And in this specific video is one I've been wanting to make for a while, and I've gotten some footage over the last few weeks here. And it's about what mowers to avoid. Now, since I'm a John Deere mechanic, where it's going to mostly, all these are all going to be John Deere mowers. But a lot of the different brands like, uh, you know, Toro and whatever they are, uh, Husqvarna and whatever they sell at Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, a lot of these mowers use the same components. So uh, this will kind of cover uh, some of those, some things to look out for, even if you're looking at a different brand mower. All right, so let's get started. And again, uh, well, thanks to all the new subscribers and welcome if you're new, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, <clears throat> today I'm gonna show you what, uh, why to avoid, two major reasons to avoid the E100s. Um, one major reason is they have a plastic transmission. So if you see that black plastic transmission in whatever mower you're looking at, I would recommend not getting it because when they break they're very expensive probably more than what the mowers worth and then that brings us to the number two reason which is why this one's in here um, it's not starting and what is going on is it sounds like it's the battery so if I turn it uh, let me go put the uh, brake on So if I turn it, it'll do that, but if I do this, so what's going on is, here's the cam out of one. This is a very common issue. Um, this is the Briggs & Stratton 17 and a half horsepower. Looks like the 31R977 model. So the compression release isn't working. So I have to take this engine completely out of here um, and replace this. Very expensive. Luckily, this person got it under, called it under warranty. About 21 days, he would have had to pay for it himself. So what's going on is this little piece here breaks. Right here. So. As you can see on this, this is the exhaust lobe on the cam. So that little piece there makes the, opens up the exhaust valve a little bit when this is spinning. And then when this starts spinning fast, it opens this up and that becomes flat. This, the centrifugal force makes, slings this weighted piece out to do that to fix the issue and what has happened on this motor is that that little thing has broken and so it won't let me uh, normally release the um, compression so to crank it up what I was doing is spinning this backwards to relieve the compression to give me enough room to for it to crank um, before you go ripping your motor out if you do have to pay for this, if that's your problem. Uh, first thing, check your valve clearances. Um, I did that first on this motor and that's, I just adjusted them. They were out a little bit, uh, put them in spec because if they're too loose, uh, it won't open the exhaust valve enough to relieve the, relieve the compression. So I put those in spec and it still has the same issue, which as soon as it did it, I knew what, what was going on but I wanted to go ahead and check check the valve clearances first. So now that that's done, now I'm gonna to have to take this thing out of here. All right, so there's the broken pieces of the uh, compression release. Had to open, you gotta drop the, uh, pull the motor, take the crankcase off. It's not a fun job to do. All right, so I told you what to avoid on those uh, residential lawn tractor mowers now this is my uh, I, I hate these mowers right here the commercial I'm sorry the residential zero turns 
guys, do not buy these. These are absolute junk. Junk, junk, junk. Many people buy these because they're a zero turn. They think it's like a, a heavier duty uh, mower than like a lawn tractor. Man, a D130 is far better than this thing. Um, this is a Z335E. I got really nothing good to say about, about these mowers. They're flimsy, weak pieces of junk. Uh, the only thing that is decent is the engine. The engine's okay. That's as far as it goes. Everything else, let's start from the front and work our way to the back. So the caster wheels, the caster tires, they hold about 40 pounds of pressure. You'll never get them to hold, the, you'll constantly be filling them up with air. They never hold air good. Uh, right here on the front, common issue, these have plastic bushings in them. Now the newer ones have some bearings in them finally. But a lot of them, like this one's going to have plastic bushings, and they don't even put grease in it. Now, um, I've heard that this isn't even made by John Deere. It's just licensed to use John Deere's name. I don't know who makes it, and I don't know if that's true. R regardless who makes it, they're pieces of junk. Um, those bushings wear out because they're, they're, they're dry. There's, you know, that, that thing has to sit there and spin. Um, I constantly take these out, and they get hard to get in a bind, to turning. And the next thing you know, you're you're tearing up your grass because these are in a bind. You got flat tires. It's a mess. Um, another thing I don't like about them is how you lift the deck. You're sitting here on the mower and you're having to lift this thing up. You know, you're kind of in a twist and hurting your back, and it's it's ridiculous. Uh, the worst thing about these mowers, though, is the deck. They're really thin. They bend easy. People constantly bend them. They don't understand why. It's because you're stepping on it right here when you get on and off of it, and, and you bend it right away. It bends. You hit something uh, with the deck. It bends. It breaks the spindle. Bends the deck. Uh, they're junk. Um, and guys, I know a lot of y'all probably have this, and you're probably hating me right now. I'm doing you a public service by telling you get rid of this thing. Um, one thing I do like how it has a little compartment here. Uh, that's one thing I do like about it. And your battery is underneath here. It has a nice, you know, service interval diagram right there. Your battery's underneath there. But to, to do a lot of stuff, you got to take this plastic housing off. And it's a pain in the ass. Um, oftentimes, the cable, the lift cables break. Like on this one, that's why it was in here. This thing broke. But a lot of times, these cables break. And, man, it is a freaking nightmare to replace. Um, the drive the drive belt's a nightmare to replace. These, I just got nothing good to say about them. You know, just I, I, my recommendation, do not buy that thing. Not even an hour later after making that video, about a 355, this is what we got here. This unit has seven hours on it. Drive belt, all messed up. Wrapped around the left side hydro. Let's see. Seven hours. Yep. All right, so just, just to recap on everything, uh, lawn tractors, avoid those engines with the uh, those single cylinder Briggs motors. The, the, the V-twin Briggs are pretty good, um, but you still gotta you know make sure you're doing the maintenance. Uh, check out my one video that I made about um, things to avoid, how to avoid uh, thousands of dollars in repairs. You know, you got to check that oil. They do consume oil, clean air filters, fuel filters. These things are in bad environments, dusty, dirty. It's not like your car that's going down a nice, clean, breathing clean air down the road. These are, you know, you got to maintain these things and, and you got to keep them clean, keep them greased and all that. Uh, so next thing, any mower, no matter what brand, John Deere, whatever, if it has that plastic transmission, do not buy that thing. And also the residential Zs, pretty much any zero turn 
that you buy at a Lowe's or you know Home Depot or whatever, those are not made to be commercial mowers. Okay, if you're gonna be a commercial guy, I understand it's they're cheaper and everything, but you're gonna to have to be very, very careful not to break that machine. They're very delicate, they're not meant to be commercial mowers, they're they're residential mowers. Okay, and even if they're it's a residential mower, you still gotta be really careful with them because they're they're pieces of junk. All right, so anyway, hope this video helps you guys out. Please like, subscribe, and thanks to all those new subscribers. If you have a question, I'll try to answer it. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.